What's going on you guys? This is the MaxKD. Another e-machine is going to be a disassembled teardown. I'll show you how to do that. And this is the it's a MIDI tower. So what I'll do is I'll re remove the two screws in the back from the side cover panel. And you can just use a Phillips head screwdriver. So you're going to slide it to the left. And first what I will do is I will remove the four screws in the back from the power supply. And there's one screw here where the caddy is at for the hard drive. And the optical drives, there's two screws here in the top. So disconnect the SATA and power cable from the hard drive. This hard drive caddy comes out like this, you lift up. So there are two screws on each side you can remove. And the hard drive slides out like this. This is a hard drive cage. You can basically install one 3.5 inch and a second one, two of them here, 3.5 inch hard drive. Now what we'll do is disconnect the 24 pin for the power here. And it's got a secure clip in the middle you have to press on. Right here. Secure clip, same with the 4 pin for the CPU power. It's got a secure clip you have to press on. Slide the power supply to the right, it comes out. And this can remove the SATA cable from optical drive. And the cables from the motherboard. Front panel, front panel header. Uh, here's the USB and the digital card reader, SD card reader, and the HD audio right here in the corner left. Use that for the CPU fan. Lay it down. Comes out like this. I'm gonna move the memory. I'm gonna remove the front cover basil so it's got a clip so when you press it down like this with your finger. And it just comes out. What I will do is I'm gonna remove the, the optical drive. And the front here, here with our car SD card reader. Yeah. 
Yeah, this uh, this um, E Machines is a Micro ATX motherboard, but you could take out this motherboard and the IO Shield, and you can install any other motherboard Micro ATX you could use. You could use i7 or AMD Ryzen if you want to do that. And you can probably install here 80 millimeter fan, a severe system fan, or 92 millimeter you can install in the back. But yeah, that's a Micro ATX motherboard it's using here, so you can install any other motherboard you want, Micro ATX. Then you just have to do is uh, probably if you're using uh, AMD either Gigabyte or Asus, then you just have to modify the front panel header for the power switch and power LED just right here. That's all you have to do. So we did remove the front now. Oh, that's a power switch, looks like. Okay, so it comes out. I'm just going to leave it on the power switch. So we'll do go to the other side and remove the motherboard. And start off from the bottom. I'll have to lay it down. And make sure you check the, all the everything's disconnected, all the cables. And make sure you get the, this, actually, let's see, one, two, three. Count how many screws. Okay, so one, two, three, and should be one more. Okay, there's one here in the middle where they see the, the two dim slot, the blue one, and right here, there's another screw here. I couldn't see it. Okay, so right here. And what I'll do is I'll take a paper towel and wipe down the old thermal compound before you remove the CPU. And then remove the CMOS battery. So here's the motherboard. And it will be the last part is the IO shoe backplate. So you're gonna take the screwdriver like this and you tap in the back and it'll come right out. See you guys, this will be the uh, end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.